Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation of our paper, NDT Transformer, Large Scale 3D Point Cloud Localization Using Normal Distribution Transform Representation. I'm presenting this paper on behalf of my colleague, Shi Cheng Zhou and Cheng Zhao. 3D Point Cloud based place recognition is highly demanded by autonomous driving in GPS denied environments and serves as an essential component in a LiDAR based SLAM system. This paper proposed a novel approach named NDT Transformer for real time and large scale place recognition using 3D Point Clouds. The main contributions are our approach is able to condense a dense pod cloud into a lightweight NDT representation with maximum preservation of geometrical features. Secondly, we proposed a novel network architecture named NDT Transformer, which devised to learn a global descriptor with contextual clues from a set of 3D NDT cell representations. Thirdly, the proposed approach achieves a new state-of-the-art performance in point cloud-based place recognition, which can be an important supplement for NDT-based SLAM or Monte Carlo localization. The NDT transformer network has three main components. First, NDT representation module with a point transform and uncertainty propagation, which converts the raw point cloud to NDT cells with canonic view. Second, a rescue network encoder strengthens the local feature using self-attention mechanism. Third, network dot layers aggregates local features and learns the global descriptor. Now let's have a look in details. The input of NDT representation module is a 3D point cloud submap. Then the submap is represented using 3D NDT cells, and each cell is a multivariant Gaussian. With the transform net, the 3D points and covariance matrices can be transformed separately and form the cells in canonic view. The NDT representation is the input of attention feature transformer module, which is implemented using a RESTU transformer encoder architecture. The transformer encoder learns the contextual information message captured using self-attention mechanism. Next, the learned local features can be aggregated using VLAD layers to form the global descriptor for place recognition. Finally, the global descriptor is learned by metric learning using a lazy quadruplet loss. In our experiment, the Oxford Robert Carr dataset is used for learning and evaluation. For the NDT cell generation, we convert the dense point cloud map to NDT cells and then bounce sample to 2000 cells with a resolution of 0.8 meters. We follow the definition of query positive and negative pairs used in PodNet Vlad paper. That is, the places within 10 meters to the query are classified as positives, and the places beyond 50 meters to the query are classified as negatives. The inference time of our approach is averaging 34 milliseconds per point cloud, in which 30 milliseconds is used for NDT conversion and 4 milliseconds for the transformer network. Now let's look at the quantitative results. We compared our approach with PointNet Vlad and LPDNet. The ablation study is also provided. Compared to the state of the art, our approach achieved an improvement on 7.52 percentage on average top one recall and 2.73 
percentage on average top one percentage recall. Here are some qualitative results. The first row shows the training and testing split. The blue areas are used for training and the red areas are for testing, which has been never seen before. The second row shows some retrieval result. We can see that most of the places can be re recognized using the first retrieved candidate. In conclusion, this paper proposed a novel approach NDT transformer to interpret a dense point cloud as a distinctive and discriminative location descriptor. Our approach addresses the large-scale topological localization problem by the means of place recognition and retrieval. Our system is able to successfully find the complements between the needs of state-of-the-art accuracy and runtime performance as an essential module of a real-time SLAM system. Thanks for your attention. For more questions, welcome to join the interactive session.